What's up, everybody? We are going to be relocating the windshield washer fluid reservoir to the trunk. <clears throat> this is pretty straightforward. It shouldn't take any longer than an hour. You're going to need about 12 feet of hose. I would say eight millimeter hose or maybe like a quarter inch hose, um, somewhere around there. But I know that Riley Sport Direct sells vacuum hosing that you could probably use um, for wires. I would recommend 24 feet of wire because, you know, you're going to need two wires. You have the ground and you have the hot. You're going to need some cable cutters. You're going to need some wire strippers. You're going to need electrical tape. And another thing you're going to want, you have hoses that you need to connect together. And uh, assuming you don't have any small hose connectors, what you can use is a lead pencil. What you do is you rip out the, uh, the insert part, the plastic tube. And um, what you do is you just cut it with some scissors. Uh, be mindful of the holes because you'll just spray fluid everywhere in your interior. So use the section that doesn't have holes. As you can see, it'll flow right through. But uh, yeah, you cut it, you put the hoses over it, and you get some zip ties, make it nice and tight, and there's your connector. Alright, so it's actually a very easy process. Um, there's a little hole in your firewall. If you don't know what a firewall is, it's basically the piece of metal that goes in between your engine and your feet. So there's actually a little hole right above your clutch, I believe, and uh, it's about it's about an inch diameter, maybe maybe an inch and a half. So you can squeeze some wires through there. But this is where you're gonna put your hose and your wire through. First thing you wanna do is remove your reservoir, just the two bolts on the top, pull it up, unwire it. Uh, there's a little green plug on the bottom, you just unclip it. And then get a big container and pour your windshield wiper fluid. Try and get as much as you can out. So then disconnect the hose on the bottom. So you're going to get your hose, you're going to get the hose connector that you made. Once you hook your 12 foot hose up to the existing hose that was there, you're going to route that through the firewall and uh, you're going to route it down around your dead pedal, which is where your foot rests. And then you're going to see four hoses. Those are your fuel line. Yes, route it so that you're not pinching it. Um, you're going to have to peel away the plastic. It's easy. And then just pull the carpet back. So yeah, route it behind the seat belt in between the seat and the B pillar. So then you want to peel away the trim on the rear door area. You're going to have to unbolt the one seat and uh, lift it up. And then you're going to have to unbolt the uh, the backrest part of the seat. Lift that up. And then, well, route your tube through there. And again, make sure you're not pinching the tube. Next up is wiring. And uh, you're going to cut the green cable. I'd say give yourself about two inches of play from the green cable. Uh, to where you cut so that way you can strip it and rewire it and then once you have the wires wired into your original harness get the connector that you cut off and make sure you set the polarities upright you know ground to ground hot to hot and uh, rewire them up there so now you're gonna have a 12 foot long wire with the green connector all the way at the other end and your harness all the way back in your engine bay so set the green connector through your your firewall and if you want, you can get some tape, electrical tape, duct tape, doesn't matter. And like every six or seven inches, if you want, you can tape the wires together. What you're going to do now is do the same thing you did with the tube, set it through all the way back to the trunk. Once it's in the trunk, make sure you have about three to four to five feet of play. That way you can mount the reservoir wherever you like and uh, be able to tuck the wires. Okay, so now you have the wire with the green connector at the end and you have the hose sitting in your trunk. Now what you're going to want to do is get your reservoir. Um, you can get creative here, but um, find a mounting point, um, get a drill, get some zip ties. You don't have to be crazy with mounting it. So now it's nice and secure. I, I recommend putting the hose on first if, um, and then wire it and you should be good. Yeah, so fill it up, start up the car and press the button and see what happens. It should work. You might notice that it takes a little longer. Um, that's because you have plenty of more hose to fill with liquid, so it's gonna there's gonna be a little bit of lag. Now that everything's hooked up and working, don't forget to tuck the wire and the hoses under the carpet and to reinstall your trim so everything is hidden, tucked away, and nice looking. You've effectively made your engine bay less cluttered. And if you're a race car enthusiast, or you're in the process of making a street race car, you know, any chance you can get to relocate weight or even delete weight is always a plus. So yeah, next up I'm gonna relocate the battery, but for now, the reservoir is in the back. I now have more room around my fuel area and the engine bay and valve cover area. So um, yeah, win-win, it's awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, please ask. If you have any uh, two cents to throw in, please do. And I'll see you guys in the next chapter, peace out.